All right, and greetings and welcome to this training video. In this video, what we're going to try to do is explain to you what uh, a clean install of the Cafe World bot really means. Uh, besides that, I'll take it a little further and, and get you some basic setup to the Cafe World bot uh, so that you can at least get it functioning. Then you can go in and play with some settings and play with some of the plugins. From there, you'll be able to modify this to what fits best for you. But the most important thing I want to emphasize is 99% of the issues that are reported on the bot website as problems tend to come from one thing, clean install. We need you to do a clean install. If you're using, it doesn't matter whether you're using beta, whether you're using EXE, or the installer program is another word for that, or anything, you need to make sure you're getting a clean install every single time we update the bot. So, with that said, that's where we're going to take you today. Now, you may store uh, your bot anywhere on your computer. I'm going to show you my way. Uh, you can just modify that to where you're storing it. Some people like to store the bot itself right here in a folder right on their desktop. I'm going to try to teach you an easier way to kind of keep a clean desktop. I don't like a dirty desktop. And right now, actually, i got a pretty dirty desktop. i got all these files and folders here. But the idea is, let's keep it clean. So I'm going to show you my way. Then you can do it your way from there after you get used to the program. All right. So a clean install. Well, I install... Uh, the bot straight to my C drive. So, with that being said, I need to update the bot. There's a new update out there, so I've got it, and I'm going to get rid of the old one. To do that, being I put mine on my C drive, I'm going to click Start. I am then going to click my computer, and then I'm going to double click my C drive. And there is the cafe bot version, stable version right there. All I need to do is right click on that and then left click on delete. That will remove the program completely from my computer. It doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Now, there's a few more steps to a clean install. Do not leave anything in that folder. I, what I just explained to you, right click delete, you got to do. You got to get it all out of there. All right, so now we've done that. So we're going to close this window for right now. And then we're going to go to Internet Explorer. Cafe World Bot runs through Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is, is its background. Do you understand? So what we need to do is we got to get rid of everything in Internet Explorer now also. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Tools, Internet Options, and then right here where it says Delete, Temporary Files, History, Cookies, Save Passwords, blah, 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 we are going to click on Delete. Now, these are my settings. I don't care what you set in here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point two things. Temporary internet files, cookies, those got to go. What you do with the rest of this is your own settings. I don't care. Some people like to delete all their passwords every time and private filter and all that stuff. That's not related to the bot. What I need you to do is make sure temporary internet files and cookies are both checked. Once those are both checked, click delete. All right, that will now delete all of those. All right, I'm going to pause for a second while that deletes all of mine. All right, now all of mine are done. 
So all I need to do there is then click OK and go ahead and close out of Internet Explorer. That's done. Now, for the benefit of this video, I'm not going to do this next step. And you really don't have to. But again, I highly recommend go ahead at this point and reboot your computer. That means your cache is clear, everything's clear. Why take a risk of having a problem? Just reboot your computer, restart. Now that you have restarted your computer, we need to actually install the new version of the bot. All right. Now, the bot is saved in a rare file. That's an extension. I'm not going to go into explaining all of that for you. But we have free rare extractors out there. All right. Now, I'm going to take you to my, my favorite. Uh, you can use whatever you want to use, all right? But right here at www.rarlabrarelab.com slash download htm, all right, is a free rare extractor, all right? Now, you need to look... nine. Uh, I'll almost guarantee 100% of you. you need to look at these first two. All right. Either you have a 64-bit operating system such as Windows 7, or you are running Windows XP or Windows Vista. In that case, you're probably looking at a 32-bit operating system. I'm not going to get into de explaining all of that. Uh, I, I would say you're probably pretty secure, 90% of you, in grabbing the 32-bit uh, uh, version here. Uh, if not, it ain't going to run. So then you're going to know that you have the other version. So I'm going to click on the 32-bit 32 uh, 32 one, which is the very first one, uh, and then click Save File and download that to my desktop. If you aren't downloading everything to your desktop rather than to downloads or something like that, fix that, y'all. Uh, that's You always want stuff on your desktop so that when you get done, you don't forget to right-click and delete it. Uh, you don't want a bunch of stuff just piling up in your computer. For the sake of this video, I've already downloaded it. So what I'm going to do uh, is click Cancel. What you need to do is click Save. All right, I've canceled that. Now, if you look on your desktop, you have that program. I'm going to move it right here for you. It's a, that shows the rare program. All you need to do is double click on it. Allow. Click install. Click OK and click done. Another little splash screen will come up here. We're going to just go ahead and close that one out here real quick because it doesn't need to be open. The program's installed. That easy. WinRare's in there. So you're done there. So all you need to do, well, actually I'll save these and do this one later. All right, so now we actually need the bot. Well, Gene, how do we get the bot? Well, that's pretty easy there. All we need to do is simply go to www.cwbot.cafeclan.org. Okay? Again, www.cwbot.cafeclan.org. When you get to this page, you're simply going to click on the forum. All right? The forum page will load. This is an important page. Please make sure you register for an account on this page because if you need technical support support right here in help if you're having a problem you can uh, report that problem and then people like myself and and even other uh, forum members will actually tell you oh well you know you made this mistake or whatever this section gets a lot of activity because 
uh, people tend to forget that clean install that we're dealing with right now. A couple other things while we're on here. I'm going to go through two things here real quick. First of all, see this button right here? It says donate. This bot takes hours and hours of work to maintain. As you all know, Zynga changes things almost every day and, and you don't even see some of the changes. They are changing code. They're doing everything to us constantly. And unless people click on this button right here, the donate button, and, and, and put forth an effort once in a while to keep this bot free, there's going to become a time that we're going to have to start charging for this. Uh, the developers put in hours and hours and hours of work. Uh, the least that me, uh, users could do is at least try to help support this bot from time to time and keeping it updated. Uh, please click on that button, that button right there. The Crazy uh, Cooks Cafe clan, members of the clan, this is where you donate. This is where we keep not only the bot's website up, but the clan's website up. Uh, we don't use free sites, you guys, because they're slow, they drag, uh, they're limited on what you can do, how much bandwidth you can do, blah, blah, blah. We can't put files up. There. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why we use a paid site. It's quick. It's fast. Those of you that have been uh, uh, bot forum members for a long time, you know what I'm talking about. You know how things aren't stable. You know how slow things are. Uh, this this is what we need to be dealing with. Uh, Crazy Cooks Cafe Clan, make sure that this bot is on here. You need.